Hey guys, I'm back with another play that is Henry V by William Shakespeare. It has four major characters: Henry V, King of France, Bardolph, and Catherine. Henry V recently crowned he is resolved and an effective orator. King of France, rational leader not without a healthy sense of humor bardolph henry's friend from his days of carousing he hasn't changed his ways catherine charming and beautiful daughter of the french king integral to the peace negotiations the story the play opens with the young Henry V ruling over in England that is weary and dispirited after years of civil wars plus Henry's credibility as a leader is hurting from his troubled youth which was spent carousing with drunkards and criminals including the infamous Falstaff urged on by the archbishops of Canterbury and Ely Henry claims that France belongs to England which is pretty much a straight on declaration of war sure enough the french king scoffs at such a suggestion and sends a box of tennis balls to henry in response of course henry starts planning his attack on france word reaches henry's old crossing partners and veterans of the recent civil wars bardolph pistol and nim who prepare to join the troops heading to france before the leave they lament the recent death of falstaff on his way to france henry discovers an assassination plot instigated by the french king involving three of his noblemen whom he orders to be executed once in france henry and his troops are victorious in several battles bardolph is sentenced to death by hanging for looting on the night before the battle of agnicourt henry disguises himself as a commoner and mingles with his soldiers trying to raise their spirits the english win the battle despite being outnumbered 5 to 1 and the french surrender in the negotiations for peace henry agrees to let the french king stay on the throne but in return henry asks to marry the french king's daughter catherine henry speaks no french and catherine no english so their first meeting is interesting to say at least As part of the peace treaty their son will inherit the crowns of both England and France the play ends with the celebration surrounding the birth of the future Henry 6th